welcome to the Irish in the UK. This week we're coming to you from Luton. We are here celebrating 26 years of the Mayo Annual Dinner Dance. It's always a great occasion with over 300 people here tonight at this special gala dinner. With special guest James Horan, the Mayo team manager, and his wife Siobhan. The Mayo County Council is also represented and Mayo.ie. Barry Owen and his band is providing the music. So come with me as I go inside to see how the celebrations is going. will always be home, no matter wherever I roam. Although we're divided by land and by sea, Mayo will always be home to me. Martin, the Mayo Association here in Luton, celebrating 26 years. Absolutely, yes, and it's a fantastic uh, event. We're very proud to have uh, our Concala over from Ireland, uh, Councillor Brendan Mulroy. He's assisted with uh, Mayo.ie, Margaret uh, Connolly, and then we have James Horden from the, our Mayo manager, as well as his wife, who's uh, Siobhan Horden, who's from Western Care as well here tonight. I'm sure all your guests here tonight will be, everybody will want to talk to James Horden, won't they? Because they'll all want to know, is Mio going to do it next year? <laughs> I, 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 we all ask that question. <laughs> we all ask that question. But it's uh, his night. He's here to support us, the Mio Association in Luton. Now, Brian, of course, you've had great support here with the Irish people in Luton down the years. We have indeed, Martin. And thank you very much to the Irish people and the local people especially. We've had some huge support, a lot of money raised over 26 years to the Mayo Association and a lot of money given out to good local charities. The purpose of the Mayo Association in Luton is to give money to the people that need it. And for the last 26 years, there's been over £280,000 given to charities here in Ireland and local families and people in need. We've got a raffle on tonight. We have four main presentations to the charities. Tonight we have our Young at Heart Dementia Calf in Luton here. We have the neonatal department in the local Luton Dunstable Hospital. We have the Wilson family in Balmullet, who had the ter terrible tragedy a number of years ago. Yeah. And we have Western Care Association in Castlebar. You've got a lovely booklet tonight, and of course you've got Pope Francis on the front. Now, what's the significance of that? Pope Francis, it was to mark his visit to Knock last year. So we said we didn't get a chance last year to do it because of the anniversary of Knock and Father Ho Monsignor Horden was on the cover. So this year we marked it with uh, Pope Francis. I was in Ireland myself at the day. It was a great success for the West of Ireland. It might have been the very last minute, but it, hundreds of thousands of people came to see him and it meant an awful lot to the Knock Basilica. Martin, of course, the Mio Association in Luton is very strong here, but you've had great support as well from, you know, around the city of London. Absolutely. Uh, not just the City of London, every county in Ireland uh, is a, we call them our brothers and sisters now from all parts of Ireland that comes here, supports us, gives us whatever we require and work very closely with us. So it's great. Of course, this is your first year as chairman. A lot of pressure on you now to deliver tonight. Fair shoes to fill. Uh, it's been going for 26 years. We've been members of it for quite some time. The people that's been involved as chairpersons over the years, there was only three of them, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. They've built the foundations for us to carry on from, and we hope to do that. Damien, of course, sponsors are vitally important, and you've had some great sponsors. Mayo Association, Luton have had, that's, that's what makes it work. It wouldn't work without the sponsors. Here tonight, um, Jerry Taylor Butchers in Luton and Kelly's of Newport, back home in Mayo. Um, are supporting us with a lot of the food and canapes here tonight on the night and have done over the past, the past number of years. And of course Kelly's in Newport, they've got a great reputation for their food. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of other associations use them as well and their name is renowned worldwide. Now you're treasurer this year, how difficult was it to sell the tickets for this event? Uh, it's always tough enough to get them sold, but again, the great sponsorship, the great support we get. Um, we get lots of companies from London, Luton, all over that take tables off us, and without that, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have this night. Yeah. And of course, you're keeping the money in, in and around this area as well, because you've got Barry Owen. He's got a great band, by the way, but Barry Owen providing the music tonight. Absolutely. We actually met Barry Owen at another local event we were at with another association and asked him would he... Would he mind coming to do tonight with us? And he was delighted, and we're delighted to have him.
James, welcome to Luton. I'm sure you'll enjoy the night. I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. There's, there's a huge crowd building and, and a great atmosphere already. So, yeah, really looking forward to the night. And sitting, sitting beside Martin Maloney there, so I, I expect a, a good night. Yeah, well, absolutely. I'm sure you'll have a, a really great night. But look at it, James. Of course, you had a great footballing career with me all. But what was it like to actually play for your county and then go on to manage it? <laughs> Uh, very different. The two the two things are very different, but 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 obviously playing is the is the ultimate. That's that's what you want to be doing, and it's what so many young young people want to do. You know, whether whether playing ladies or or, or, or men's football. So it, it was a great it was a great honour, um, and you know it's obviously great then for for your friends, for your family, for the people that you know. You know, it gives them an extra an extra something to cheer. You know, so so uh, we, we I had a couple of great years with, with with a really good team, and we had highs and we had lows, and and but but the the main part of it was just the enjoyment yeah. and the thrill of, of playing for your county was, was superb. And then when that ends and it, it ends for everyone at some stage, um, the next best thing I suppose is is, is trying to manage a, a group of guys that want to do really well. So look, I'm very lucky, and you know this is my second time involved in management, so I'm very very lucky to to get the chance to do it. So I'm I'm enjoying every minute of it, you know, so um, yeah, looking forward to the season ahead. And of course, you had a great run first time round uh, with the county as well, you were so close on many occasions. <laughs> so close to getting beaten here in 2011 um, um, when we came over and played London in the first, that was my first championship game involved, I still remember it, uh, not fondly, but, but remember an awful lot of detail of it, so we, we, we had a good run from, from there for sure, we, 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 um, we won four, four Connacht titles in a row and Competed strongly for a couple of All Irelands, didn't didn't quite get there, but but um, so 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 we had a we had a great time. But I suppose that every year, every every team is different. The team last year when it back involved did really really well with a lot of new guys in, a lot of changes, backroom changes, county board changes, all that kind of stuff. So so um, to have um, the year that we did it last year, I would I was very satisfied in in that we you know we won a national league. We developed a lot of new players. We we built, a, I suppose, a support team around around the team, and um, just very excited about what's what's ahead. And you know, we had we had a, a, a training session last night for the for the underdogs. It's a competition that's on next next weekend, and we had we had 20, 25 new guys in training last night in Michaela Park, uh, getting ready for that. And and every one of them unbelievably enthusiastic about, you know, probably getting their first start for a Mayo senior team. Um, so when, when you see that energy and enthusiasm around the place, it's 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 uh, it's just great to be part of it. And of course, you had a lovely job with Sky, you know, <laughs> doing the panel work and everything. Was, we all yeah. enjoyed watching that, of yeah. course. And then, did it seem as though it was like someone finished business because you packed in that and you went back to manage Mayo again? Yeah, it would have been way easier for sure, stay in the nice warm studio and um, just answer a few questions every now and then. But but, but ultimately, I. I um, I love working with, with ambitious players, uh, and particularly Mayo players, that um, are given everything they've got um, and are keen to learn and develop in any way they possibly can, um, have, have a brilliant attitude, and, and being involved in that and trying to help guys along, it, there's a great buzz out of that. Look, when the, when the opportunity came along, um, I, I was delighted to be in a position to, to, to take it again. and, and you know, with, with the support of my family and my, my, my wife Siobhan's here tonight, um, you know, we're, I, was, I was able to do it, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled and, and honoured to have the position. And of course you've introduced some great young players now to the Mio team, and w you know, that's what's got to be done, you've got to move on, you've got to introduce new people, but I have to say, with a little tinge of sadness for me anyway, Andy Morden stepped down this year, and I thought he'd been a great servant to Mio. Yeah, look, Andy, Andy was a um, superb player. Um, and, and played for, for many years for Mayo and had many ups and downs and injuries and, and came back with a huge positivity every time. But Andy, Andy has been rightfully acknowledged, but it's the likes of, of Ger Calf um, that has retired as well, that you know, has put in 12 years for Mayo and a sup again a superb servant, David Drake, you know, Keelan Crow, those couple of guys that didn't quite break through or, or would have been regular, regular starters that have been there for years. And they drive the guys that do make the team to be, to, to be better, you know. So, so for me, they're, they're super guys as well that, that absolutely warrant, you know, you know acknowledgement as well. So um, we're, we're very lucky to have, have guys of that calibre. But, you know, you saw last year with, with, with Fionn McDonough, you saw James Carr, um, you know, with Conor Loftus, that there's a load, Brian Reap, there's a load of new guys that are coming in that are, are very keen. And, and, you know, they learned a lot from Andy last year and saw, you know, the, the levels of, of, of commitment that are needed. So they're going to take, you know, what they've learned and, and, and drive it on this year. And that's the way 
with the way things go, you know, so it's onwards and upwards. And of course there's a huge commitment, of course, especially for the teams down the west, and Mio in particular, you're at the forefront, they are uh, leading the challenge every year. Huge commitment from yourselves and from all the county board, but in particular the players. Oh, it's huge and, and it's absolutely huge. It's everything um, is, is, is sort of secondary in a way, from, from their sleeping patterns to their eating pattern, nutrition, diet, lifestyle, everything, you know, trying to get the recovery. And we, we have an extra challenge of we have up to 20 players in Dublin, so geographically it's a, it's a challenge to get that right, but it's, it's, it's something we just put our heads down and, and, um, and, and work on, you know, and the, the main thing that, that it's awful important to remember is they absolutely love playing football and they love playing football for the county, so, so some of those logistical challenges, are, it's, it's, not a, it's not really seen as a chore or, or a sacrifice, it's something they're, they're privileged and honoured and, and, and more than willing to do, so um, we're, we're lucky that we have, a, we have a very good bunch of guys. Well, the celebrations are going in full swing here for the Mio dinner dance. We're going to take a little break. See you in a minute. Welcome back. We are here celebrating 26 years of the Mio annual dinner dance. Cheers, good health to you all. Now we're going inside to continue on with the entertainment. We're delighted to be here at the Association Annual Dance. Mayo.ie are in touch all of the time with the association. They're huge supporters of Mayo and very loyal to the county, especially around Mayo Day. And of course, Mayo Day has grown hugely over the last five years. Oh, it's fantastic. A Mayo County Council initiative, a day for everybody, not only in County Mayo and in Ireland, but worldwide, our diaspora worldwide, a day for them to come out and celebrate their Mayo-ness. Our fifth year last year, brought out at our flagship event, brought over 20,000 people to Turlock House in one day. Now we were blessed with the weather, the sun was shining, but still to have 20,000 people come out to celebrate Mayo Day is a huge achievement in itself. And we're really looking forward to May the 2nd next year, 2020. Put it in your diaries, everybody. We'll be shouting loud and proud about Mayo Day. We will be in touch with everyone here and we will definitely be supporting the Luton Association. Tell us what we can expect for our holidays in Mayo next year. We have our fantastic Greenway, so we have um, from Westport all of the way to Ackle. We have fantastic landscape. Crow Patrick is one of our most iconic mountains and it's so beautiful. Even on a, a, a misty day it's so beautiful to get out and climb it's wonderful we have the most amazing restaurants Westport was voted the tidiest town in Ireland so it's a place to come and especially with the announcement of the funding for the road now it's just going to be the most amazing place to come and visit and stay and spend your money Mags you've sold it to me I'll see you there fantastic we look forward to having you Martin take care Absolutely delighted to be in Luton as a Cahirlick in the first citizen of Mayo to come over here tonight and celebrate with the Mayo Association in Luton. It's a fantastic night and I'm delighted to take up the invite. Of course, it's uh, vitally important for the diaspora away from home to see you guys coming over here and supporting them here. Absolutely. A lot of people left Ireland a lot of years ago to make their living in England. So it's very important the people who are left in Ireland. And Ireland is a place now that is very progressive at the moment so that we do recognise our diaspora right across the world and particularly in Luton tonight. Of course, we've been hearing great news coming out of Westport this week, and you're spending a lot of money on the roads over there, I believe. Yes, Minister Ring has announced to be 241 million um, on a dual carriageway from Westport to Thurla, which is massive investment into the um, west of Ireland, particularly into Westport. But as you well know, Martin, um, Allergan Ferris Mills are out of Westport along with Botox. So the reality there is that that road needs to be upgraded for the infrastructure to be brought back to Dublin and right across the world. Botox is a massive seller. You wouldn't realise that I'm actually 202. 
<laughs> I like it. You like it? <laughs> now, of course, uh, Westport is a tourism town, isn't it? So many visitors. Yeah, Westport is a tourism town. Um, I'm lucky enough to be from Westport myself. A lot of years ago, Destination Westport, all the business came together and they put their thinking hat on and they said they promote the town rather than doing it individually, they, they promote it collectively through Destination Westport. And that has worked out for them. So when one hotel is full, the other hotel is full and the knockdown effect. And that has worked. Now, they spend millions upon millions on that, but the results are there for people to see today. Tourism is a massive, it's one of the massive things, particularly in Westport, and it's going really well. Now, you completed a great challenge earlier in your, uh, in your lifetime. Of course, you climbed Crow Patrick every day for seven days. I did it for seven days. And if that wasn't bad enough, Martin, to do that, I did it for autism. I decided I'd put a bet on, I know you were talking to James Gordon earlier on, in the event of Mayo winning the All-Ireland, I'd climb Crowpatrick backwards. Yeah. And I got so much flack from the Hill 16 supporters, the dubs, that, um, and we raised a lot of money now, I decided I'd do it anyway. Yeah. So we did it, but I can safely say to you, Martin, and give you the exclusive on it, we won't be doing it again. <laughs> now that we're talking about Mayo football and Mayo supporters, we couldn't let tonight go without paying tribute to the wonderful support that the Mayo people have given to the team down the year. The Mayo supporters, as anyone will tell you, are fanatical and the crowd that arrived in New York, the 25,000 people that arrived in New York, will um, prove that. It's, 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 a fanat it's a fanatical at this stage. Mayo GEA, and it just shows you right across the world, it's not just in Westward or Kessel Bar, it's not just in Luton, it's in New York, it's, it's all over this world, in Hong Kong even. Um, so look, at, if we ever win in all Ireland, I don't know where we're going. I'll tell you next year, Sam McGuire won't get in through them doors. Listen, Brendan, lovely to meet you tonight. The very best of luck uh, with your new position and new role with Mayo County Council for the next 12 months. And lovely to see you here in Luton as well. Western Care is a Mayo charity that provides services for adults and children with learning difficulties and autism. Um, it promotes individualism, uh, it promotes independence, it provides whatever services are needed for those individuals and it also uh, provides support for the families such as respite care or you know just general, general advice. It's a vital service and I only just came to realise that myself in the last couple of years. Um, our own children, we have five children, that were all born fit and healthy and it really makes me appreciate how lucky we are. And I became involved with the Candlelight Ball Voluntary Committee uh, four years ago and the money that's raised through the Candlelight Ball goes directly to the service users of Western Care. And what it really humbled me was when I saw the difference, small amounts of money, maybe 500 euros, could make to a number of individuals. How are you funded at the moment? Uh, I think it's 97% funding from the HSE. The HSE are very, very good. Um, and But really, there's still a shortfall in what, what's needed. Of course, as you mentioned there, uh, fundraising and donations is vitally important. And we saw you receiving a cheque there from the Mayo Association here in Luton. Yes, uh, the Mayo's Luton Association donated €1,000 to us for the Candlelight Ball last year and that just that that thousand euros goes directly to the service users and make, can, has made such a difference to you know to people that really need it. Patricia, a Sligo lady, secretary of the Mayo Association in Luton. How did that happen? Well, married to a uh, Mayo man. My dad came from Mayo, so what can I say? Well, absolutely. How long have you lived here in um, Luton? Just over 30 years now, since I got married, moved down to Luton. So how long have you been involved here with the association? About three years, but we've always come along to these kind of events and things, so I thought time to give back a little bit and get involved. So do you get back to Mayo often? Yeah, yeah, we go to Belmullet couple of times maybe a year if we can but definitely once a year and to Sligo obviously I've got family there so so of course uh, secretary busy job of the Mio Association here in Luton yeah but it works well as a committee we all got got our responsibilities so it's good and Joe of course it's great to see you were chairman last year president I should be bowing down to you this time you're president this year how are you going on not too bad at all and it's nice to see you back in Luton here again yeah 
Well, it's lovely to be back with you here, and of course, you've always got a great support. It's one of the biggest nights of the year. You know, it's great to see a big crowd and great music, and lots of people from all different counties in Ireland come to the Mayo Association Dinner Dance. How is your committee going? I know that you're building all the time. How difficult is it to get new people in? It's uh, always difficult, but we're trying now to get the younger generation. I'm one of the founder members of the Mayo Association, so it's, it's you know, we have a great blend of young and old, and uh, you know, that's the way it should be. And of course, your St. Patrick's Day uh, parade last year was a big, big success for you because you had a lot of young people involved in that. Yes, we had. Yes, we had. And that's what we're aiming for every year now. Get more younger people involved. And I think that's the way forward. And I, yes, I recall the day of this. Barry, you're providing the entertainment tonight. Are you looking forward to it? I am indeed. Uh, there's always a great crowd at the Mayo Associations. They're great for dancing and we love playing here. Now you play at a lot of, of the big gigs here around London and the south of England. Yes, I've been here for a few years. We do a lot of the associations in Mayo, Donegal, Galway, Cork, Kerry. We were at the Kerry one last night down in uh, London. It's a great night. Big crowd, 300 people for the Mayo do. I'm sure uh, the floor will be packed all night long. I hope it will. That's my job to try and keep them out on the floor. I'm going to do my very best to keep them out jiving and waltzing and all the latest pop songs as well. Of course, you wrote a song about Mayo, didn't you? I did. My wife, is. Uh, she was born in Castlebar. Her first cousin is James Horan, the manager. So to encourage the team, I wrote a song called Bring It Home Mayo. And uh, sadly, it hasn't quite worked, but we're getting there. We're very close. We've hit the bar, but we want to get in the back of the net. And uh, of course, your wife is heavily involved in Irish dancing here in London as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, she's got her own school. It's called the Kaymore School of Irish Dancing. Uh, it's one of the biggest in London, one of the biggest in the country. She also works with a school over in Boston and she's just started a school actually in Moscow. And she was involved with uh, Michael Flatley and Lord of the Dance and Mary Duffy, who used to run Lord of the Dance for Michael Flatley, is now teaching with her. So it's all working out very well. Lovely to meet you, Barry, and we'll be all out dancing to your music later on. So bring it home. Well, what a great night we've had here celebrating with the Mio Association in Luton. And a big thank you to all the catering staff for the lovely meal that they put on for everybody. Congratulations to the Mio Association for all the wonderful work they do for the Irish community in Luton and beyond. Now, we hope you've enjoyed the show at home. Don't forget, Henry McGlade is back with his show next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And we are here with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. Until then, take care.